Light is the connection between us and the universe. Light allows us to see distant stars as well as everything around us. But what is light? Light is a form of energy that travels in waves. It's all around us. But where does it come from? And what does light have to do with color? When we talk about light, we usually mean visible light, which is the light that we can see with our eyes. But there are more types of electromagnetic radiation that are invisible to us, including radio waves, microwaves, x-rays and gamma rays. Together with visible light, all these types of radiations are called electromagnetic spectrum. Visible light makes up only a tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum, but includes every color we can see. The most important source of light here on Earth is the sun. We call ordinary sunlight white light. However, as we shall soon see, this white light is in fact made up of different colors. Let's take a closer look. Wondering what this is, right? Well, this is a prism. It breaks a single beam of white light into several beams of light. When the white light shines on the prism, it refracts towards the normal and slows down then splits into different colors. However, the different color constituents slow down to different extents, so the white light starts to disperse into its constituent colors. When these colors leave the other side of the prism again, refraction occurs. But now they bend away from the normal, since light speed increases to its speed in air. Thus, refraction occurs twice in the splitting of white light through the prism. Hey, can you identify these colors? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Together, they're also called Vipgore. If you want to see all of the colors in the visible light spectrum, look no further than a rainbow. Usually when we talk about a rainbow, we say it is made up of seven colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. The colors of a rainbow are always in the same order. Red is always on the outside because red bends the least. And violet is always on the inside because it bends the most. The splitting and bending of white light into its constituent colors is called dispersion of light. And the band of seven colors obtained from this dispersion is called the spectrum of light. Let's do a quick activity. Take a glass of water and place a mirror inside it. Make sure the room is completely dark. Take a torch and flash it towards the mirror that you placed inside the glass. Watch a rainbow appear from the angle of your mirror. Now, place the paper and see the seven colors. Today we've learned that white light is made up of seven colors, namely red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. The splitting and bending of white light into its component colors is called dispersion of light. The band of seven different colors obtained from dispersion is called the spectrum of light.